Number 60, complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this letter out of the bunch, or this example out of the bunch. So we have to find the changes in the pressure for CH4 gas plus H2O gas, which comes to equilibrium with CO gas and 3H2 gas. Now, I know that I'm dealing with pressure because they give me a unit for pressure. Anytime that you see ATM, that's a unit for pressure. And how are we going to find out these uh, slots here is by going off of what we know. Now, if we look at the H2O gas, they told us that we are changing by a value or a factor of X. Notice that this is a positive value, right? They didn't say negative, so it's, it's definitely a positive. And that means that the H2O was increasing by 5 ATM. But if this one reactant was increasing, what do you think is going to happen with the other reactant? It's got to increase. They're on the same side of the yield sign. So if now all of the reactants are increasing, that means that all of the products have to be decreasing. If one side's going up, the other side's got to be going down. So that's the first thing. If this was a positive X, that means that the CH4 gas also has to be positive. And since these are the products and they're on the opposite side, these have to be decreasing. We signify that by negatives. But now, what is going to be the number? Well, that comes from the coefficients. There was no number in front of the CH4, so that means that there was one of them. There was no number in front of the H2, that's why there's one of them. Same thing for the CO, that's one. And then there's a three in front of the H2. Now look here, guys. We increased by plus x, but we could have said we increased by plus 1x, right? But any time that we see a 1x, we just say that it's x. But the 1 came from the coefficient, and that's what we have to do. So since this is a 1, this would technically be plus 1x, a.k.a. just x. This is also, there's a 1 coefficient, so this would be minus 1x, but we could just say that this is minus x. This one is the only one in which there's, there's another number, there's a 3, so we have to keep it. This would be minus 3x. And now we're ready to find out the numbers. Since they told us that x was equal to 5 ATM, right, so I'm just going to say x is equal to 5, I could use this information to figure out what my other numbers are going to be. Since this is just x and we know that x equals 5, this would be the same increase. It would be 5 ATM. And I'm just going to say that this is increasing plus. Same thing with this one. It should be increasing a plus 5 ATM. Now, this would be getting rid of, right? Decreasing by 5 ATM because it's still an X value. But then how am I going to find out what this number is? Yeah, I'll do negative 3 times 5 because X was 5. So this would be dropping by 3 times 5 is 15 ATM. And those are all of your answers. Remember, guys, there is no such thing as negative pressure. This negative just means that you are dropping by 5 ATM or 15 ATM. We do not know what the initial values were, but they had to have been higher than 5 for CO and higher than 15 for H2 because we can't end up with negative values but we're just focusing for changes on this one, so we are done. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Give the video a like and subscribe if you want to help us out, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.